What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's Chris Campbell from Safe as Science, which is slowly becoming from the forging sake of science, and that's it, because I have no more science to do because I'm obsessed with this. But that's okay because I like it. So, check this out. Made a steak knife. Not too bad. A little bit of detail work to be done. But I'm gluing up the handle now. Hence all the things. So since that's going, I figure what what else do I have to do but uh, start another project. So I'm going to try something tough. Not like anything else I've done is tough here with all the uh, forging. But I'm going to try to make either a, I think it's a, called a bolo knife, which has that bend in it, or a kukri, which is thin, the bend with a big broad front. So. One of those two, however the metal works itself out, but those are my intentions. And I'm going to try to get it fully forged and ready for grinding. Uh, actually, ready for heat treat in less than three hours. I doubt that's going to happen, but it's worth a shot. So, wish me luck. I'm going to set the timer now, and uh, we'll see. This time lapse is a little shortened, however... You get the gist of what's happening there. I'm definitely forging the blade and from start to finish getting it forged to the next segment only took about 48 minutes. So I'm definitely within the right time limit, but it's definitely slow because this is just my third blade I'm forging. Let's talk about the first try at a kukri. And here it is. Not bad. A little warped to it right now, but I can get that out later on after I do some grinding for the heat treat and all that. So I haven't isolated the tank completely. This was cut off from an attempt to do a steak knife that came out, eh, I need to work on it. But it started off, it was about this wide. I widened it out maybe a quarter inch to a half inch down here at the bottom. Up here I did almost an inch wider up at the top. So it has that broad thing, the spine's just a little off. I'm gonna work on that. But I got the curve into it. I got the point mostly done, uh, the tip. Um, and I drew it out from 17 inches to 19 and a half total, all from here up. And it's a heavy bastard. That's the Cooper baby. I gotta work on this turn a little bit, which I will get that right. A little bit more forging to do later on. But right now, I gotta get a part for my son's car. But not too shabby. I actually forged in the bevels, and I need to work on them a little bit. Get a little fattening here when I bend it, but. Never bent metal like this before. Kept it mostly straight. Most of my crookedness is in the tang and a little swoop here. But there it is. So I'm gonna let this cool off, nice and slow. Hopefully it'll be nice and annealed at that point. And I think we're good. Not too bad, first try to cook I'm proud of that. All right, some quick views of more forging. I'm trying to get the tip dialed in correctly. And put the at the end of the tang, I put the little uh, swell that I put brass later on. Uh, the forging was fun, and I learned a great deal getting this bend in, trying to get this tip right. But eventually, I did have to grind a little bit in order to get that tip just right. But still, third blade, I'm very, very happy with the outcome. See, I dropped the blade there, my mistake, rookie bladesmith and all. But I cut this video a little bit short, otherwise it would have been two hours and 40 minutes long to get to the heat treat. But the heat treat begins now. All right. No warps, no cracks. I would call that a successful heat treat. Let's check to see if there is hardness to the blade. Right 
What's up YouTube? Hey, on the uh, kukri, mostly sand it's already, I'm about to start the gluing process. Scary, scary stuff. This time lapse is a riot because you can see my dog at the sliding glass door watching every move I make, which makes me laugh. He's such a freak. But I made a few mistakes, but in the end, it all worked out. finished. This is a large Kukri 19 half inches long. I'm mostly happy considering it's my third blade, the first big one. I'm ecstatic. But the uh, grind on it was decent. The edge on it's okay. I messed up at the Picasso a little bit. I need to work on that. The edge is okay. It will shave. The handle's not bad. It's a little blocky. And the brass needs a little more polish. And I made a mistake on this side. Right there. That drives me bananas. I'm trying to figure out how to fix that. And I'm going to figure out something. But a little more polish on the brass, a little polish on the handle. I think I'm probably going to use some wax or some kind of brace to polish up the blade itself. But, rookie bladesmith. Never talk by anybody. Straight. Heavy but balanced. Beautiful. I'm stoked. Kukri. Nepalese Kukri. <laughs>